What goddamn time is it? So we're gonna build a solid door. Cause this school bus can turn into a submarine. That's right. Yeah. Cause it, it gets so hot Oi. that you have to like slip it out. To lock it also from the inside because can I almost feel safe. Yes. It's good, huh? Yeah, that worked well. What's going on, people? Hi, my name is Kenna, and this is Jay. We live aboard our Choi Lee Offshore 41. Her name is Sitka. Currently, we are sailing and exploring our beautiful home here on Vancouver Island in British Columbia, Canada. I'm new to sailing, but I'm learning and loving it more and more each day. Jay, on the other hand, was born a salty sailor. As he takes me under his wing to get ready to sail around the world, join us on our adventure of falling in love with the beauty of life and the wonders of each other. Welcome to the story of us, and welcome to Sailing Sitka. On this episode of the Magic School Bus, we need a door for the school bus, because this school bus can turn into a submarine. That's right. We become a yellow submarine sometimes. So this is our old door. So it just comes on these little hinges here. And that's gonna be the same setup for the new one. Um, let me get this in. So that's that's all she that's all she is, right? And it opens up. Now our new door, this is a weak point obviously. Um, and although it is kind of useful, we won't have that. So I just went and got some marine grade plywood, three quarter inch thick. So we're gonna build a solid door and then I'm gonna show you, I wanna do something cool, but I'm not gonna tell you guys right now because I'm not even sure how I'm gonna, it's gonna end up to be honest yet. Um, <clears throat> I do need some fittings too, as I want it to be able to like come and clamp down on this side so that it clamps down on a bit of a gasket. If you look here, see this was actually well done. So there's an insert here on both sides. So if ever water, a wave was to splash and come here, the water wouldn't go in the boat, it would go down that crack and then seep out at the bottom. Obviously, if we take a huge wave, it would go through. Um, the danger, and even here, like this is routered to, so they, whoever built this door did a great job on it. Um, it's just, we want something a little bit more stout for offshore um, and a little bit more light while still allowing for some privacy. So yeah. That's what we're gonna do and we want most importantly being able to lock it also from the inside because Kenna wants to feel safe yes and George the piglet Sammy the dog <laughs> Alfredo Picasso the dog too Bobby and Sam Sammy and Lauren also <laughs> want to sleep at night so we gotta get going so I got plywood over there all the way down there so anyways we'll uh, we'll keep you updated on how this submarine's coming up Back to you. <laughs> all right, well, that's a wrap. I'm done. Um, that's it. That's all you get, love. <laughs> that's all you get. So basically, <clears throat> this is the rough cut there. This is the first cut. And I just, um, I need a, like, even, like, you don't want a gap here, obviously, but I do want a gap because I'm adding fiberglass. So, and this is the area that I just marked here where I need to take a little bit more wood so that when I close this, you see here there's a big quite of a big gap there which is fine because as I said there's going to be added material all the way around about an eighth so I'll, an eighth down and an eighth up so we'll bring it to like about here which is what you want a bit of a clearance here it touches so I'm going to take a little bit more um can always add more fiberglass so um but yeah it's going to be solid so it's going to be a full door like this it's going to open up come on the back and then probably gonna do some sort of porthole here I haven't decide exactly on the shape it's gonna depend how motivated I am um, I have some leftover acrylic from when I built the hatches a few years back so um, yeah and then I'll put a nice like wood trim you know around here so it looks like you know finished and then nice little porthole that doesn't open though with like uh, you know a little wood trim do something using all the old wood we got laying around so yeah, that's what's going on on the Magic School Bus on this week's episode. So right now I'm just 
cutting my biaxial glass there for when we come and do the glassing in a little bit. How many layers are you doing? Uh, two on the outside and then just one on the inside. I mean, it is three quarter inch marine grade plywood. And then there's gonna be epoxy, fiberglass, fairing, wood trim. It's gonna be strong. Um, yeah, it will be strong. Yeah, we won't need it to be any stronger than that. If we need it to be stronger than that, then we need the entire boat to be stronger than that. And that would be an issue. Because we got no more money. So. That's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. It's the final project. This door will take us to Japan, right? <gasps> it will? Yeah. And your friends are coming to see it. Oh, Hector, Paul, Steve, Lewis, nice <laughs> to see you boys. Uh, if you want to hold this, uh, no, okay, all right. I guess it's like every other industry, huh? Don't want to work. So, uh, this is not sail life, so I'm not as precise as Mads. If you guys know who that is, you will get this. Um, but I've done enough fiberglass now that um, I don't really care that much about how big the glass is. Obviously you want it to be close. Um, the important part is these little corners. And I'm not a master yet at this part, but I'm getting better with time. It's weird to think that that's what the boat's made of. There's a lot of this, like the, the first layers, like it doesn't really matter because there's going to be fairing after and I have to sand it. So what you don't want is air bubbles and like places where the glass will have make create folds that that, you, that we don't want that. But anything else, not a big deal. I mean, prep is important. I'm not going to lie, it is important. If you don't do enough prep, you end up working a lot more, but there is such a thing as too much prep, I think, also where you waste valuable time over prepping things when you're gonna have to, you know, use big power tools on them and then they're wrecking a lot of that prep work. But that's me. Everybody does things differently. That's fine. So don't come at me in the comments. <laughs> All right. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Yeah. Set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control, and the steps you take them. Oh, she does. My love's cooking me a meal tonight. She's listening to her music. While I'm watching sailing videos, who's surprised? Just Perfect. enjoying some relaxing dinner while watching The Truman Show. Are you okay? One of our favorite movies. Yeah.
So we have one dirty, itchy build rat and one fully fiberglass door. <laughs> um, I still need to do fairing, but now it's glass on both sides and it closes. How's the gap inside him? Good? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a little bit on this side here. Yeah, well, it's, it needs to move kind of oh, like that. Yeah, there, there it is. And yeah. then there's going to be a bit more to um, in fairing and stuff. And then I still want to have room, so it goes like this, right? Um, let's see. Yeah, but you still want to have room. So. Like that, and I also want to add a gasket in here, so I need a bit more playroom. So like here, I'll show you guys from this side. So there's still a bit of a gap around here, not too big, but um, yeah. And I want to have a bit of a gasket material or even maybe like some sort of, yeah, kind of a gasket material on all the edges here so it does a better Weber seal. Here, hon, you can talk to your people. Oh, God, I have a zit sticker on my head. <laughs> real life, real life. <laughs> Look at this hair. It's luscious. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, yeah. what it looks like once you're done sanding your fairing and then this is what so you knock out all the high spots and then you're left with a uniform smoke surface that's ready to, to paint basically and this is what it looks like before you sand so now it takes about 20 minutes for that area so now I'm going to do this side so prep not prep on the other side <laughs> Look at how sexy my love is making us some fresh home squeezed lemonade like back in the days <laughs> before internet. That's right. Are we the only ones who missed the previous internet days? I actually lived previous to internet. I don't think you did. Definitely no. not. Yeah. <laughs> I, I miss those days. <laughs> Let's bring them back. All right. Let's take a look. I made you lemonade. Oh, thank you, my love. You're, You're so welcome. cute. I just need to wash my hands. That's okay. <laughs> I'm full of dust. Let's see it. Is it the nice? Yeah, I just got to take this cord out. Oh. So obviously it's not done. It's just the stage fiberglass is done now it's gonna be wood so it's gonna go like this and there's gonna be a wood here I anyways can't see it from this side but I'm gonna recycle our old uh, cockpit table our old teak cockpit table and uh, to make the wood for it so we don't have to spend money because that table kind of got warped so we can't really use it anyways and I'll build a new one probably not out of teak because that's too expensive but we'll find something <laughs> But yeah, this is gonna be solid and we'll put a window mm -hmm. here. It's coming along so nice. Yeah, it's all, now it's all smooth and then, yeah, we'll just uh, trim it out. Um, there'll be places for it to lock and cinch down on a gasket piece there that I have to wrap my brain around, but yeah. Yay. It's coming along. Then like this one goes, it comes right towards there, but it does go over, we tested it. Yeah. I just noticed I need to sound a bit here, actually. <laughs> All right, I'll go back. Okay. That's what I needed. It's like in the old days when the women would bring out the iced tea or lemonade for the hardworking men. Yeah, bring bring back those days. <laughs> You're having it right now. I know. Well, you work hard too, my love. Yeah. Yep. So good. Yeah. We're using uh, round things in the boat to like see what size a porthole for the door. So this is a North Cell Frisbee size. <laughs> And then coffee can size would be this size. We don't let coffee cans go to waste on here. Clearly. I use them for everything. <laughs> so that's the size difference. Mm. So let us know in the comments, but by the time you see this, I'll probably have made up yeah, my decision. So true. hopefully we pick the right one. 
but it's to go on a door that's this size, right? So actually, let's use this door as a kind of a template because that's the same size. So it's going to be in the middle. So either this or this. I know what one I like. Which one do you like? The small one? Yeah. The small one? I think it's just more proportionate. Yeah, it is more proportionate. I think you're right. We'll do the small one. Woohoo! So I she hope wins, so it's too late. Don't even tell us what you think. No. <laughs> <laughs> skip, skip that part. Never mind. Tell us what you think, but <laughs> but we made our mind up. Cheers. so hot that it refuses. <gasps> really? Yeah, because it, it gets so hot Oi. that you have to like slip it off like that. Can I get off? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I like it a lot. You like it? Yeah, I think that's perfect. I mean, I'm going to sand this there, but it's good. Eh? Yeah, that worked well. So let's go see what it would look like on here. Oh, that's perfect. That looks good. Yeah. Hey? Yeah, it does look good. I like that a lot. Hey, yeah. show, show your cool glasses. Yeah, so <laughs> watch this, guys. I'm not, you can't make this shit up anymore. Like, this is what happens in 2022. <laughs> Nobody cares about anything. So I bought these at the hardware store. You see how there's one arm missing? Well, they were like this in the package, which is completely sealed. So I unsealed it. I didn't bother checking if they both were there. I, <laughs> I assumed that that's how they came with, like, two, two goddamn two arms. arms. So I get home. And I open this, I'm about to use a grinder with a flap disc and a cutting disc as well, which is like where you need these puppies and I break these all the time. And then I open it and it, it wasn't like it was missing and it fell off in the bag. No, it wasn't even in the bag to begin with. What's going on, people? So, moral of the story, uh, moral check the story, arms. Check, check, check the arms on your, your safety glass. So we have our little window down there that I painted. And this is the outside diameter of that window, and then this is the inside. So I just drilled a hole here through to put my jigsaw blade in, like so. Then I'm gonna cut that inside diameter, and we're gonna paint it. And I'm gonna use that table right there um, and recycle it to make wood trims around the door. We wanted to paint it yellow like the Dodger, but that yellow is like from Epiphane, it's number 37 seems to be impossible to find now and it's going to take weeks for it to come in so it might be white for for a while we need to order more yellow anyways in case we get chips on the dodger so we can fix it so i'll be ordering some hopefully so let's uh, let's get going So I just marked where I'm going to put this trim piece. So I've cut it to match the angle at the bottom and at the top. And this is an old teak part. So that way it covers that gap and I'll be able to put a gasket. I mean, it's covered. You can see in the back, it hits the wall. So that's good. But I want it to be really sealed. So this will come. I'll do a nice little finishing touch here. And I might add wood trim around. We'll see how motivated I am. Let's see. Let's see. So I lied to Kenna and told her I was just going to do a wood trim on the side, but that was a blatant lie. She was on her way to work, but I wanted to surprise her. So in Big Daddy Safari fashion, we went a bit overboard, but uh, I think it looks, it's going to look pretty good. And I'm thinking of maybe adding like a bar here and then another bar here. Um, 
yeah I think that'll look really pretty I'm just recycling old teak so that'd be perfect actually I think like a little little bar here and another bar here I think I'll look good anyways wish me luck all right well it's day five of this project obviously a lot of days it's like just an hour of work and then you have to wait for epoxy or fiberglass secure Yes, I did like five hours, mostly uh, woodworking and finishing stuff. So I turned the table that I've showed you previously um, into basically the framing for the door to make it look a bit prettier. Excuse the dogs, I think they're they're making sure otters don't poop on here, which is good. We had a we had a, actually a trash panda yesterday um, come on board in the middle of the night, like at 2 a.m. Kind of heard it, and then I came out and had left a big chunky crap on here. But anyways, this is what the door looks like. So um, so this is all teak from our recycled uh, cockpit table. And then I made little inserts here. Um, obviously this, like it looks good. Um, honestly, I could have done probably a better job. Um, here there's like maybe a 32 or maybe a 16th of a gap, but it's pretty hard when you're working, you know, on a dock. Like I'm using a, an old wooden dock as my workshop, but um, yeah. And we'll have this little, this little window is gonna come here. Obviously, it's tape right now, but um, that's left over that I had from the old hatches, um, and that's gonna be good. We're gonna put this little decal on it, um, like we have here in the head. So it's like this little decal. I don't know if you can tell, but um, it makes it like kind of like more private, and also gives you like these um, rainbow colors inside. So I think that's gonna be nice. We'll get a little bit more light because our previous door. So basically, this is. This is a big upgrade from this thing here. So this is the old door. Um, so that's gonna be a lot nicer and a lot more solid. This door was well constructed and it would be perfectly suitable for coastal sailing, but uh, not really my thing for offshore. I could probably kick that thing in with one kick. So I'm um, not gonna cut it for us. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with uh, how this turned out. Obviously we still need to, I'm gonna seat all this and then this, I was gonna paint this yellow, but I can't find the yellow paint anywhere. It's kind of sold out everywhere in Canada. It's a rare color. Actually, a local uh, boat shop here, Trotac, literally told me that they've only ever ordered four um, since they started, which was years ago. And I'm the only one who, I bought all four of them. So anyways, uh, it's probably gonna be white. So this will be white and then this will be varnished. And then there's more, there's gonna be more to it. I'll just uh, let you guys discover it as, as we go here. All right, so we're at step 642.4. Um, so I'll show you on this door project. So I just uh, put some wood filler um, in the, all the little voids there. So it's already been uh, glued down using a uh, thickened epoxy. So West System uh, mixed with some 403 adhesive filler. Um, and now I just use some exterior grade uh, wood filler. Obviously, it's not the exact same color. I mean, that's as good as I could get. Um, it's just a, like some little voids where there is not enough of that 403 glue, um, and that's gonna be plenty. Um, obviously, this is not gonna be seeing a lot of water except when we're actually cleaning it or in sea state absolute mental. Like if we get pooped from the stern, which has happened on my previous boat on our crossing to Hawaii. But my last boat was also quite a lot smaller and um, good thing that uh, my good friend Pierre, um, he's the one who showed me a lot of fiberglass, the fiberglass I do know now, but my last boat was a Rossin 30 and there's no bridge deck here. So that door was actually all the way down to the cockpit floor, meaning that if we got pooped, even if the door was closed, unless it was 100% watertight, water would just flow in the boat. So Pierre made me build basically a bridge deck on my last boat. We actually rebuilt the entire cockpit, cut it out and build a new cockpit with an ex engine hatch access there. So yeah, um, it, it's crazy the amount of uh, people in the, sailing, in the sailing world that will take time out of their day um, to actually teach you how to do stuff, which is really cool. And I'm happy now that I'm at a point where I can like pass on some of the knowledge that's been passed down to me through the years. So it's kind of nice. It's like a circle. It's a, it's a big wheel. It's a big daddy safari wheel and I like it. All right, I'm listening to some, some jazz and blues. Calm me down when I do these projects. Hopefully YouTube doesn't cut it out. All right, see you guys. Bye. All right, let's go see step 724. So basically you just saw me 
put in um, the uh, wood filler that was four hours, five hours ago now. I just finished sanding it with the orbital and then by hand with the 120 grit. So this is what it looks like. I used the chisel too for the corners and in here. Um, so it looks pretty good. One thing I did score too, because I went up to this used uh, boat store and for the inside on the outside, we'll just um, screw in that glass, well, that acrylic thing. And then I found this little puppy for the inside. It's not perfect size, but almost. I think it'll look pretty good though with this painted white, like just a little round trim in here. I think it's gonna look quite nice. Anyways, it was a good score, a little bronze. Had, I just finished sanding the underside because it had a bunch of old goop in it. So right now my next step is I will use 220 grit. This has all been done to 120. I'll use 220 here and then uh, we're gonna seat all this bad boy. We'll do three coats, so for the next three days and after that I'll come and prime this on either side and paint and then we'll install all the gear. Things are gonna look quite good. All right, you're probably tired of seeing my face, so uh, see you later. You guessed it, step 68. All right, so I just give the first coat of Cetol, so I just taped all the edges where I don't want Cetol to be, where it's gonna be white paint, and then everything got one coat, so two more coats to go. That's the beauty of using Cetol versus Epiphane. I might have converted myself to the Cetol gang. If you guys are recruiting, let me in your gang, I like it a lot. That Epiphane shit was getting me insane. It's getting me insane. Anyways, that's what it looks like. So it's uh, 5.57 a.m. We're looking at uh, the sunrise. And uh, I start playing my blues music. And then my love, Kenna's like, Why are you playing music so loud? As she's cleaning her forehead or whatever females do in the morning. Oh and I'm like, honey, honey, it's never too early for blues. It's true, it's never too early for blues. Anyways, um, that's us today. We're gonna go watch the sunrise and then guess what? Do a little boat work and then probably go for a little adventure day. I'll see you guys. Well, it looks like this is a to-be-continued episode, you guys. So we are putting a little pause on the door project as we are leaving for Alberta to visit my friends and family in about a couple of days here. So after we get back from this vacation, we will be showing you guys the final product of that. And no, we are not taking a break. We will still be having another episode uploaded for the Sunday, so don't worry. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this one, you guys. To see the final outlook of this episode, for this door and they won't be next episode but probably the one after that so just stay tuned for that and thank you so much for watching if you could just like comment and subscribe we would appreciate it immensely